We are learning new details about the tragic death of a five year old girl. Investigators say her own mother stabbed her to death on Sunday. Thank you for joining us. I'm Keith Garvin and I'm Daniela Guzman. It's a very tough story to tell, but new tonight. A woman says she reported the signs of abuse. The child was suffering at the hands of her own mother, but sadly her report did not save the child's life. Our Devin Clark is live tonight just outside of the CPS offices near NRG with these developing uh, developments. Devin. Daniela Keith, the woman who identified herself as the child's babysitter, says all the writings were on the wall. And like you mentioned, she did tell Child Protective Services about possible signs of abuse. She says that if more action would have been taken, that child could still be alive today. She's super smart, always. She loved talking about dinosaurs. This woman who asked not to be identified is speaking about five-year-old Nicole Town, who she says she babysat. Family posted this picture of her in a GoFundMe account now set up. Investigators say the child's 37-year-old mother, Melissa Town, admitted to stabbing the little girl to death at Spring Creek Park in Tomball Sunday afternoon before she told them she made a conscious decision and needed to end the child's life. The babysitter says weeks before that, that the child showed signs of being abused. Scarring and like open bug bites. It looked like all over her body. And then she was complaining of pains. The babysitter says she contacted Child Protective Services. On October 5th, they took my statement or whatever, and then they told me someone would be in contact with me. October 6th, they contacted me. She says she was told that nothing could be done without the child's address, even though she gave them the father's name. It angers me. She says she didn't have the address because she would pick the child up from her father, who had custody at a gas station. We follow the same page on Facebook called Ask Tombo. And he was looking for a babysitter, so I had messaged him on there. While she says the little girl didn't explicitly tell her who was abusing her, she did hint that something was wrong. She always constantly told me she did not want to go home. Did she ever tell you why? Um, she just kept saying that her family doesn't trust her. Officials say town told them while she was stabbing her daughter to death, the child yelled out, I've been good. And she replied, stop fighting it. Now the little girl is dead. I feel like the system failed her. CPS officials say there is a history with town who has other children staying with relatives, but they would not go into details about the alleged calls that were made. We do know that town has a bond set at $15 million and she's doing court tomorrow. Reporting live outside of the CPS headquarters near NRG, Devin Clark, KPRC 2 News.